This video demonstrates how Visual Cut can inject emojis, dynamic icons, into email subject lines, as you can see in this example. This is my Gmail inbox. I have four emails, all of them generated from a single crystal report that got bursted by Visual Cut, and Hybrid shows an exclamation point emoji to indicate that the average performance here on days to ship is more than three days, while competition shows a green check mark indicating that the performance is better. So let's see how this is implemented in Visual Cut. First, how do you get emojis? If you go to a website such as Emojipedia and search for some topics such as check, then you can see some matches. One of them is check mark. You can select that and you can copy the emoji and then paste it. Uh, you just open Notepad and you can simply paste the emoji and you will see it in Notepad. I repeated that process for three different emojis. One is a check mark, one is alert, and one is info. The alert one looks like this. Okay, so let's switch to Visual Cut and open this emoji report. And it has a formula that returns a different path to the emoji file depending on the performance. So performance that is good, less than three days, on average to ship, we can see that here the average number of days to ship is more than three, and hence we get a path to the emoji alert.txt. Now in the export email tab, we have a directive in the arguments area that tells Visual Cut to inject an emoji into the subject line, and there's a dynamic path here to the emoji file. So as I hover over it, you can see that in this particular case, when competition is selected, the path to the emoji file is emoji check.txt. But if I cancel out of it and select hybrid and hover over it, I can see that it resolves to emoji alert.txt. So you don't really change anything in the subject line directive. You just add a directive to inject an emoji. By the way, the emoji file doesn't have to be a dynamic expression. If you know that all the emails that you sent should have the same emoji, then you would simply specify here the path to that emoji text file. So I'll start the process. And that's it. It just generates the four emails with their embedded emojis in the subject line.